G'day guys, Luke at Honeycombs. I'd like to introduce you to the new Green Tech 4000 litre orchard sprayer. It's a 10 head, dual axle, generator, electrically assisted fans. Just a close up look at the fan head. Got a multi outlet, multi fan blade. Round the back to the drive, which is a self-sealed electric motor. Simple screws, double sealed, so no moisture gets into the fan motor. Easy to replace on the chance it does burn out. As you can see, this is a 10 head, so it's five either side. Can spec them up to have up to six or seven depending on tree heights. Uh, also can be added a bottom one to get underneath and blow back up onto your trees. On a concertina system, uh, which we will run through very shortly. Okay guys, so just about to fold it up. Uh, get a bit of a video footage to show you how she works, the concertina system. All packed up, front of the machine, PDA drive, drive belt up to our 70 kVA generator, also our large volume pump, chemical inductor, hand wash, pressure gauge, tank level, control box, hydraulic adjustment for our machine to fold up so we can slow them down depending on flow rate of tractor. Here we go, machine all folded up. At the moment we're running it with 100 horsepower, can run it down to 90. Uh, the advantage of that with a generator system, we don't require the horsepower to drive hydraulic motors and hydraulic pumps. Hence we're allowed to get able to get away with 90, 100 horsepower. Two sets of remotes. Furthermore, this machine is actually specced up with two point linkage hitch to a pivot. This allows us to keep a straighter angle for our PDA and better maneuverability in tight turns around the farms and your orchards. Two sets of remotes, electric cables up to your control box, the blower pump, multi-cylinder, multi-head, chemical inductor, generator is actually a 70 kVA and it's actually filtered. Depending on your applications we can change the pickup air to a cleaner point if you're spraying down low. Um, yeah. So it's a 40 kVA belt driven sealed gen set which sucks clean air through filtration system on the back of the back of the gen set. Now depending on option and spec of tree configuration we can relocate the filter to a high mount one. Once again depending on application and uh, need of crop. Just a different side of our three cylinder pump. Filtration three different filters.
So this is the unit all folded up for transport. Um, I'll just walk you through the controls. It's just a simple A-Rag system. There we go, a bit more focus. Okay, so basically the way that the controller works, nice and simple, on and off. What that does is it's a diverter valve, so it links between your two functions of your remotes, which I'll show you very shortly, from the fold up position to wing out. Okay, so we'll get in that in a minute when I start the tractor up. And this is your pressure controls, or your control for your sprayer. So you can either turn them on together with that switch. You can say you're coming to a short row, you want to turn one row off, one row on at a time individually, you can and you want to increase pressure or decrease pressure via the gauge. So we'll just fire him up now guys and we'll show you. Okay guys, so what we're going to do with it turned on, the light comes on, we work our one remote. Unfold position, it's down, and then switch it over, same remote lever. Walks out the bottom section, the second remote lever, we work out the top section. So what we can do is we can adjust that on the fly different crops, brings them arms in, boy, boy, me. like we can still adjust the heads individually, this one's not set up for in the field as yet, but this just gives us the basic idea of the controls. And lastly, we'll just engage the pump, radio's on, day fans are going, so basically we can turn Pump on. Obviously the switches one and two aren't on. So if I turn number one on, we have chemical coming at one side. Turn on the second switch. We have two going. I can shut them both down by the main switch. Back on. Or individually coming down a short row, we can turn off one at a time. To the right hand side, left hand side in the camera, right hand side, left hand side back on, and we can make out the pressure. Obviously, we can increase that or decrease that. Okay, so uh, stay tuned, guys. We're going to get this unit in the field in the next couple of weeks and uh, we'll get you some in field demos. Cheers, guys.